Good afternoon YouTube friends, my name is Jackie, welcome to Gone Potty Gardening. Today I've decided um, to get cracking with sowing some seeds. You can hear the goat in the background, she see me out there. Every time she sees me she moans. Well it's not moan, it's nice to see you I suppose and usually I go and sit in with her and give her a stroke. But she's seen me going out there. <clears throat> anyway, today... I want to um, get on with sowing some seeds because I've noticed, if you, everyone's probably noticed, that um, the daffodils are starting to spring up, the days are lighter for longer and obviously at the end of March they go forward, the clocks go forward. Um, <clears throat> but for me, in Ireland is a perfect time now to start some of these seeds because I found last year I could have done with sowing some of them a bit earlier, you know. So um, I've already started some tomato seeds indoors, which are the uh, Roma and a different variety. Um, I'll put it on the screen. I'll put all the varieties at the top when I talk about plants so you know what I'm sowing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and um, yesterday, um, it's, it's not as if I've got enough onions, because I have. But I picked these up. Some of them are sprouting a little bit. These ones are called Snowball and um, I've never grown them before, but that was the reason oh, I thought I'd pick some up. Not gonna hurt, is it? I can always um, chop them and freeze them in the freezer. You know, we'll have them all the year round. So yeah, that that's uh, another little job I wanna do today, plant those. And I have done two trays of those, uh, different varieties of onions, which I'll show you now. So all I'm doing now is just quickly putting in these little pots. I've got the bag of soil next to me and uh won't take very long. <clears throat> it was surprising the amount of onions I can see in there though. But still, it's nice. If you're all growing onions this year, are you putting them in now or are you putting them in the pots? It depends where you live really, doesn't it? It depends on the... Uh, climate where you are but it's such a lovely well lovely afternoon now we have had a lot of hail and uh, it's finally stopped so it's a perfect time now to get all these little jobs done I haven't even looked at my flower seeds yet I'll probably come out in a couple of, well, a, few, a week's time and all these would have popped out of the soil a little bit, which they do. And you just need to push them in again a little bit. It's the roots that push, when they start getting new roots, they start pushing out of the soil. So, uh, yeah, all these little jobs, but it's lovely to get them done. These, um, These are lovely. Can't remember the variety. I'll pop it up in the description, up in the video at the top there. And uh, <clears throat> I'll probably leave these in the polytunnel on the shelf high up, hopefully, and just hope that nothing gets it to any of them. In the other polytunnel, I've actually had, um, I think there's some mice in there, and they bit a big chunk of garlic. <laughs> What I actually did first was went through all my big seed box to see um, what we actually wanted to sow this year because some some years we've grown stuff that actually do we really eat much of it, you know. And that's probably where I went wrong, wrong the first time that I started growing. I just, you know, bought packet after packet of seeds and grew them and just didn't eat it. So this year we're just going to actually plant what we use a lot of in this um, polytunnel, we grow mostly um, tomatoes, cucumbers. Um, I'm going to have a go with melons this year. I doubt if we'll have much luck, but it's worth having a go, I think. Um, peppers, we're growing here. All things like that. And in my other polytunnel, uh, the green one, um, what I'll probably do is bring on the um, seedlings in there. 
um, because I've been using that for um, at first I put the goat in there at the bottom um, until I got another goat to keep her company I used to sit in with her so she's not in there no more but there's also um, a little brooder set up in there for the chicks that I hatch so it's a bit of a mix and match it's not really for growing it and the trees are really overhanging it so I do use it for other things now but it's still useful for for other things you know and um because we haven't got a big shed out the back here um i'll probably store a little small a few bales of um hay at the back of it as well um although i don't want it to encourage rats but hopefully i'll be able to keep them under control anyway back to the planting so yeah what i did i got my diary out this morning um i'd already been through the big box to see what we we're going to grow and then i actually went through them separately to see um, when I could start growing them really and I, I go by like in England I, I go a little bit before England because um, I was surprised the other day our neighbour said at the beginning of February that it was the first day of spring and I said to him no it's not because in my mind I'm thinking it's March but apparently here it's at the beginning of February and um, we do get a growing season that is a bit shorter so yeah i'm going to get cr cracking with a lot of these um i've got some more tomato ones here these are uh, sun gold and these do really well here so I'll, I'll be planting those as well and one thing i've never been very successful with is growing spring onions so i've got a different variety this time and i'm going to try that and uh Probably a lot of you watch uh, Charles Dowding's channel, will he? <clears throat> when he sows them, he sows a few in each uh, pot or, you know, sell, grow and sell. So I'll probably do that. And uh, the variety for the spring, onion, spring onions are called Di Barletta. Yeah, never heard of them, but that's them. Um, <clears throat> What else have I got? I've got quite a lot here. I've got sprouts. I want to get them going. I've never grown sprouts, but I'd like to give them a good go. They're called Groninger. So that's another one. Some more tomatoes. Now this is um, apparently a mix of cherry tomatoes. As you can see, there's yellow, orange and red. Um, F1 hybrid. So yeah, but I'm thinking of, uh, you know, thinking of something to hang higher that doesn't dry out as quick so uh anyone got any any ideas do you all grow hanging or well, hanging baskets i know you can get that gel stuff can't you that goes in them there's some baby leaf uh lettuce and i'm sure that'll grow in here if we grow it um in a leg a legged container that's a new word isn't it legged <laughs> anyway with the lid I'm sure that'll grow. Um, <clears throat> I've got some all year round cauliflower and I definitely want to grow that. So there's quite a few here actually to get started. But I just thought I'd go through them with you in case uh, you wanted to grow any. But um, this was really successful. This was um, a dwarf green curly kale. And it was great and it lasted for a long time so that's definitely on one of my favorite lists every year that and I even treated some to the chickens and that was that one all these sort of things i think we'll be able to grow in the poly tunnel um once we get them going this is um a red vein spinach um yeah all them sort of things i'm going to get going in here I've got some broad beans. Now, Helen wasn't that keen on them last time, but I'm going to try them again because <clears throat> I probably um, prepared them wrong when I harvested them. But apparently, you're supposed to take, like, when you take, when you harvest the beans, you're supposed to take the outer shell off of them and use the middle part. And I didn't do that, so I'm going to give it another go because why not? There's some coriander here, which has um, got really big leaves. So I want to try that. Um, I think we've got, yeah, in the last video, um, I repotted some coriander, didn't I? That's growing really well. That's in the kitchen on the window. 
um, but I want to try and like keep it going, you know, because we use quite a bit of that. Um, all the varieties that I show you I'll put on the screen. So uh, yeah, that's a, a big leafed one. What else have we got here? There's two corianders there. That must be a normal variety, so it won't hurt to grow some of that as well. Um, <clears throat> Pat Choi. This is fantastic when I grew this last year. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I would say was that um, as soon as the weather got warmer, it did bolt quickly. So you had to kind of like use it really quickly because it, it seemed to me like one minute you looked at it, the next day you come in, it was bolted. Probably wasn't that quick, but that's how it seemed to me, you know. So yeah, Pak Choi, it says so February to October. So that's one that I'm gonna get going got quite a few to get going um <clears throat> we grew this tomato last year muscataka probably said that totally wrong <laughs> but anyway uh that's march to april and that's for hanging baskets and things like that but i'm trying to i'm going to try and think of something um that i can hang them in you know that's going to be strong that's going to have more soil in than a hanging basket but it's ridiculous because even though like today it's quite cold i'm not cold i've got my nice woolly boots on but usually it's um still quite cold this time of the year and even in the polytunnel it's a little bit chilly especially come sort of like four o'clock it gets colder then but anyway um <clears throat> yeah so it, you have to just be careful don't you really what you're planting and when but uh i don't want to plant a load of seeds and then lose them all to the cold now most of the things that I'm showing you and talking about planting, I won't be planting outside because it is too cold, um, but some in, in the polytunnel here and some I'll bring indoors um, where it's a bit warmer for them. Now I've never been a lover of radish either, but I'm going to try it again in case as I got older, my taste has changed. So I'm going to try that. Um, Raphanus sativus. Sativus. Some of these names of these plants. Anyway, I've, I've put all the names like I say underneath. Um, Calabrese. Gonna have a go with that. Uh, broccoli Wartham. That is. Um, oh, Helen's uh, chili plants. Hungarian hot wax. So uh, yeah, she used them quite a lot last year in cooking just froze them whole you know and, and used them as we went along got them crows outside oh there's some peppers here some different type uh, California wonder they're called their sweet peppers and they grew fantastic in the polytunnel last year so yeah we can't um, complain we did have some great success um, there's probably a couple of things if I missed any out that one that one's called pepper macaroni red it's just in the little packet there but that'll be um, a sweet one i think yeah so i'm gonna get on with all this i don't think you ever stop learning when you're gardening do you i don't anyway i made quite a few mistakes at the beginning <clears throat> like we all do i probably um planted too many of one variety at a time Whereas I'm a bit more cautious now. I always like plant um, thinking that, you know, some of them won't take, the germination rate won't be so good, um, or they might <clears throat> succumb to the cold or too much watering. Um, and that was brings me on to the next thing that I used to do wrong. Well, not wrong, but I find that if you um, water let the plants take up the water themselves from underneath use a watering tray um, you get much more success in my opinion um, because then you're not over watering or anything else like that but when I first sow them like now I will give them a good water after but then I'll sit them on um, a tray full of water and they can take up what they need whenever they need it it's actually 10 degrees in the polytunnel, but when you're sitting still, 
um, and it's damp it doesn't feel like that at all so I just had to pop in and get a cup of tea warm up and I'm back out here now um, there's a couple of things that I'm gonna have to direct so which like um, would be the broad beans and um, I can't remember what the other one was but also I'm going to sow some of these um, micro greens but I'll, I should take them indoors and um, grow them indoors and we can add them to salads and stuff like that Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed the video today and um, thank you for joining me. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and uh, yeah, I look forward to some more growing and planting. See you in the next video. Bye. Why not come and join me on Facebook or Instagram? The link is in the description.